folks. I do love this time of year. I love this time of year with the hunting season, change of seasons, going into winter. I like that. I like to have all four seasons. And uh, one of the reasons I like the fall so much is because mushrooms are out. Take a look at these folks. I've watched a lot of recent mushroom videos, but these are some beautiful, beautiful tree oyster mushrooms. Here you go. How do you like those, huh? Isn't that just beautiful? Size of my hand. All right, we're gonna get ready to harvest these beauties. Now I know somebody's gonna ask in the comments what kind of tree this is. This is an old dead elm. There ain't many of these left, but this tree bears mushrooms every year for about the past six years. I've got mushrooms off this tree. There's more on the back side, but they've already they've been that they've been too long. So they're getting a little firm, they're getting a little hard. You probably eat them, but these. Oh, wait till I show you these. I'll show you this little muff, friction folder here. It's my mushroom knife. Chuck Richards made that for me. It's a beauty. Let me show you one of these mushrooms. Okay, they're smooth on the top. They got the fins on the bottom. No bugs, they're beautiful. And they're soft, they're floppy like an ear. These are oyster mushrooms. See them, how beautiful? These mushrooms do not grow on the ground. These will always grow on a tree, whether it's standing or it's already fallen down. They have no stem. See that? They come right out of the tree with no stem. Real beauties, folks. Real beauties. Boy, what a nice Sunday morning find this was. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yes indeed, yes indeed, no bugs! Look at them, folks. Just look at them. Look at how beautiful they are. down here folks is I've taken my mushrooms and I've washed them okay they're all nice and washed and clean and they're beautiful okay sometimes when you pick these mushrooms the gills on the underside can be loaded with um, bugs and you got to soak them in water to get those bugs out but these were very 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 clean so what I'm gonna do now this is, I'm just going to go ahead and take the mushrooms. I like to cut them about like this. Okay. And then I'll be putting them in Ziploc baggies for freezing. But I'm going to cook some up with my dinner tonight. And um, I'll show you how I do that. The moisture in their own separate ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to get these in a fry pan and then shortly after that in a separate pan I'm going to get the mushrooms going all right folks what I got going on here is I got my fry pan going for my onions and I got my fry pan going for my mushrooms I don't prefer to cook the two together because I, I think they cook at different rates you know, so I've got this going here, and this is just a little bit of um, <clears throat> a little canola oil mixed with my butter, just to keep my butter from burning. Okay, so that'll work great. And right here, I got heating up this nice cast iron pan. We're going to put the, our uh, mushrooms in it. I'll move you just a hair of that way. So you can see the pan is getting hot. But we really don't want to burn the butter, so we'll flash it down with just a little bit of canola oil. And then we'll add our butter. Okay, we're not, we don't let the butter burn. Do not burn the butter. Okay, let's add our mushrooms. Right away, the aroma is just amazing. So they're going to absorb a lot of the butter and the oil. So you might need to add a little bit more butter. Here's our mushroom, or our onions. So now you can see our mushrooms are starting to turn a nice golden, nice golden brown. Keep frying them until you get this nice coating. What's it look like that? That nice golden color. You see? Fry them nice and slow. Get that beautiful color on them. Onions are caramelizing nicely. Okay, so at this point, what I like to do is I like to add a splash of jarred garlic. It's a lot. And then I add the onions. Here it is. Nice steak dinner, some roasted potatoes, peas and carrots, and wonderful, wonderful oyster mushrooms from the forest. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just please remember, if you're not sure what you're picking, don't eat it. Please, know what you're picking before you cook and eat. Don't be afraid of it. Um, there's many books out there as far as organic mushrooms go and what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. So um, it's broken down pretty simple and don't be afraid of it because there's a lot of things out there in nature that we can enjoy. So I hope you find those things and I hope you enjoy.
I'll be back with another video.